Yo, King's Watch. Okay, guys, today we're talking stacks. What is a stack? Do rune stack, and what does full stacks mean? First thing I want to say is the legendary diamond runes do not stack. We'll go in and we'll look at our primary weapon. The attack damage is 204.8. We will add a rune. We will back out and go back in to make sure the math changes. Primary weapon is 212.8 now. And our secondary weapon is 210.8. We'll put the same rune. back out so the math changes. Secondary weapon. Attack 210.8. Hasn't changed. The smaller runes, however, do stack. Melee damage of 149.2. We'll add another melee damage. And we're at 153.6 One more One fifty five point five, okay, they keep going you can put one on every piece of armor And for this test, I was using melee damage. Also, if you have a piece of equipment with uh, an engraving, the corresponding legendary diamond rune will not stack with the engraving either. I'm going to, as you can see, it is crit damage at full health. So I'm going to unequip that engraving. Primary weapon. Crit damage is 50. I'm just going to show you that the rune is working. Increase crit damage, full health. Primary weapon. Crit damage is 65 now, so it's an increase of 15 damage. The rune is working. Now I will unequip the rune. I'll activate the increase crit damage full health engraving on the bow. Range damage. Crit damage is 65. The primary weapon crit damage is at 65. I'll add the rune. And we tested it before. It is working. Increase crit damage at full health. Primary weapon. Crit damage is still at 65. It doesn't work. You can't stack a legendary diamond rune on an engraving either. 65. Let's get into the stacks and the full stacks. Here I have the Battle Sparth. 
when surrounded by three or more enemies, increases attack damage. The bonuses are 5, 10, and a maximum of 15. Starting with 3, ending with 5. Okay, so there are 5 stacks here. This is the first stack. When you're surrounded by 3, you're going to do plus 5 attack damage. When you're surrounded by 4, you're going to go and do your second stack. Um, and it will be a damage uh, increase of 10 and the third stack, which in this case is max stacks, when you're surrounded by five, you'll be doing an increase of 15 attack damage. Same thing for Lagatha's Axe, except with crit damage. When you're surrounded by three or more, three is your first stack and five is your max stacks. Okay, so when you're surrounded by three, your first stack is 6.7 damage increase. Second is up to 13.3. And when you're at max stacks, surrounded by five, you'll be doing plus 20 crit damage. Now I have this armor uh, picked out because it has to do with stacks for this engraving. Uh, it deals damage in an area full of stacks. And the damage they take is an increase of 5% of the damage you deal them. Okay? So now we know what stacks are. Right? We have an area full of three or more enemies. So we can do the math on our stacks and get just a basic number we have 15 attack when we're surrounded by five at max stacks and we have 20 crit damage at max stacks surrounded by five enemies in an area and we'll come up with 5% of that 15 attack damage is 0.75 damage extra on that 15 attack damage at max stacks. 5% uh, of the max stacks uh, crit damage of a max payout of 20 crit damage, 5% of that is one damage increase. But unfortunately, we don't have control over, we don't have exact control over what kind of damage we're going to do. Okay, it's just an, a maximum increase at max stacks of 20 crit damage. But when we hit these enemies, we don't know, you know, from what I've seen, it could be between 18 and, and 2000 damage. Okay, so the engraving on this armor is the damage all your stacks combined in an area, which is the area, or in this case, it's the area where our five enemies are, are within, okay? That's our area. And the max stacks in that area, we just looked at the weapons we have equipped. So when we hit an enemy, and it's going to give us a random damage number. So I just have, you know, just uh, basic numbers here. So if we hit an enemy and we do a 100 damage hit, 5% would give us an increase of 5 damage. If we hit an enemy and we get a 200 damage hit, 5% of that is going to be an increase of 10 damage. And if we get real lucky and hit, hit an enemy with a big 1000 damage headbutt, um, it's going to, 5% of the 1000 is going to be an increase of 50 damage, making that headbutt. 1050 
Okay, and if it was 100 damage hit, it would read 105 damage. If it was a 200 damage hit, uh, the armor would make it a 210 damage hit. Next example, the Carolinian Longsword. Max stacks with this sword is 5. Your first stack will be doing an increase of 4 crit damage. And your fifth stack will be your max stacks at 20 crit damage. 5 kills, 5 stacks. First kill, 4 damage. Second kill, 8 damage. Now you, now you have 2 stacks. Third kill, 12 damage. Fourth kill, 16 damage. Fifth kill, 20. This one's quite interesting, so I wanted to include it because it deals uh, with time-based stacking. Increased crit chance in combat. Longer you remain in combat, the, l the less crit chance. So this one only stacks four times. So max stacks with this will be at four. Beginning with a whopping 40% crit chance. After 10 seconds, you'll move down to a 30% crit chance. After 10 seconds more, you'll move down to a 20% crit chance. After another 10 seconds, you'll arrive at your max stack which is a 10 crit chance where you will remain until you leave combat and then a cooldown will re will begin. That's not really relevant, but I just found it interesting that how the stacks work with this weapon. Like I said, it's time based. All right, guys, that's that. That stacks, that's how they work. I hope the video helps somebody. Hope to see you again. Bye for now. Smash that like button, buddy. Smash it.